Okay, we're gonna do the comparison right now. I actually changed out the rear tires, which is a, a much grippier knobby, like a pin tire for carpet. So we're gonna run that, still stock everything else. And we're still gonna run it against, just to show you a speed difference. This is a high boxing, this is a Hellstorm, and this is running a 380 motor. This is also bone stock. So let's um, let's see these back to back, and let's kind of get a feel of what a 280 versus a 380 size motor looks like. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely fair because this is all-wheel drive, but um, it kind of gives you a feel of a speed. I think every time I um, connect the rod to run the WLs and LCs rear-wheel drive, to me it actually feels a little bit faster. Um, probably because the drivetrain, like you're having less um, power going to different places. So um, that's just my, my experience so far, just to kind of give you a feel of what this looks like with full throttle. this one you can literally hear the difference so let's run them yeah the sucker's fast this is stock Yeah, that's really fast for a stock car, actually. So let's go get that over. So, trying to figure out whether or not I want to um, change the shock oil in the front to a thicker oil or just keep increasing the spring tension or just wait until I run brushless. That way I can get this car up in the air better. So let's put this aside for now. And we'll come back to you in a second. So we'll finish out this battery. If I can get it to go. We'll finish out this battery with these tires and see if there's a difference in grip and performance from a pin tire on carpet. Here we go. So I think I could already feel the difference. Um, here, let me try it one more time. Okay, so one of the things I noticed is um, having that pin tire, it gives you grip the entire way up um, whatever jump you're trying to hit. So what that does, it actually gives you a little bit more height. Uh, oh, let me see it. Let me see if I can. So running a rear wheel drive, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. Um, I know I hear a lot of videos and a lot of pros talk about that if you're running rear wheel drive, um, it's harder at first, but you'll learn to drive anything afterwards. Um, I don't really feel this much, much different from a all wheel drive LC. Uh, I'm sure because of the, the size difference, it probably, you know, feels less of the input, but I can't really say I feel a huge difference. I think the biggest difference I feel is the power. Um, the turning grip is pretty good, obviously, but it just does not. <laughs> uh, my first flip over. So this one doesn't like to hit the ground from up here, the dragon's tail, to here. It likes to um, drop into the ramp. So 
So, thoughts on this car right now. Is this car overpriced? Um, I, I absolutely think it's overpriced. And I understand why. Um, you're paying for pretty much the corporation and everyone's salaries and all that stuff. Uh, building size and customer support and all that stuff. I, I get that. Um, there aren't many classes um, for minis to race. So this does open up a class and it gives you a chance to win prizes and stuff like that. So there is a trade-off. I'm not completely against the Mini B, but for its price and value, um, I think all the cars I carry are a better value for what they are in price. But again, that's only if you're kind of driving solo. So if you're driving, let's just say at a track or an event, you can only run Mini Bs. That's the only class that they have. So they have the LC Racing, like the, the all-wheel drive 14, but there's no way that it's going to hold up to any uh, LC or WL. This is the second time that it's wound up some of the track. I think I'm pretty sure it's from right here. So. So when I uh, purchased this car, it actually came with um, the the stock rears in front and then these in the back. I didn't like the extra weight of the front, so I went back to the buggy tire. And to kind of keep the car level, well, as level as possible, it's kind of needed to have the, the lighter front end. In that jump I think it's depending on where I hit the jump too so all right so thought so far based off the the design of the car I think the design of the, car, the design of the car is okay it's not it's no LC, it's no WL. Um, I think for me, I think the um, the shocks are a little bit small for its bore size and everything, but I understand it because the car is extremely light. I think my 20 is faster than this thing. My 9145, it's a Zin Liang. I think I'm pretty sure it's faster than this one. Obviously, it's going to have a little more control, but. So that's kind of a, a good feel of what this is on the track. It's not anything crazy. But I'm not sure what just happened. Oh, something locked up. There you go. Something weird happened. Gearing locked up. One thing I do notice about these cars too is that they're very twitchy in the front. So any input that you give, um, you'll definitely feel it instantly. So if you make a quick little jitter right, you're almost going to turn right. So you got to be careful with the the turning ability of a rear wheel drive compared to all wheel drive. So let's go ahead and change this out to the high boxing now. you off all right my car
car's off. This car's on. Okay, so this one does not have the correct shocks on it, but we're gonna run it anyway and see how long that lasts. God, this car is so fast. These cars are pretty solid. Um, they don't really break, um, but there are a couple parts that do need um, some attention. Uh, shocks are definitely number one. The shocks that come with them are plastic on plastic, and they are really not even real shocks. They're kind of like a, um, a makeshift shock, I guess you would say. <laughs> this car is not driving right because it doesn't have the correct rear shocks and it's way too high for what it is so I'm just driving it the best that I can until I can get the correct setup that it needs that was full full this is full again you can see the difference in speed it's huge break something looks like a spring popped off so this car with the correct um, shocks this car is pretty reliable pretty durable Let's see if I can get that back in I'll get in there okay I don't think I'm really gonna get a good run because of these shocks. The rear shocks are for a completely different car and they're way too long. I just needed to use them real quick. Yeah, this car's pretty pretty fast for what it is for a brush car. Uh oh. Ah, looks like we have issues again. Okay, so again, shocks is Definitely going to be an issue with this car, so you have to switch them out completely right away. And these use like a 45, I think, millimeter. 45, 50, right around there. So it has to be like a crawler type shock. Or like a uh, 24. This one has a lot of air control. speed keeps popping out yeah Shark is popping out. I used to be so afraid of those bugs. The, I don't know what they're called, but it's a beetle. I used to be so afraid of them because they used to be so loud, and I used to think they would scare, like, hurt you. I don't want to land on me, but all right. Okay, so <laughs> this is a tough one. I'm trying to give you an example of a car that's not set up correctly, so. All right, let me see if I can hit this and clear it. I'm sure I can. The Mini B only gets about halfway, possibly. So let's see what the high boxing does. This is the Hellstorm. No, that wasn't it. Oh, 
way too much bounce in that. All right, let's see if we can catch that other side of that ramp. All right, I think I can. I'm just gonna get the right momentum. Almost. It's way too much pop. So, again, that's my comparison of the two two cars. This is going to be an 18. The other one's going to be a 16. Uh, this is, again, this is a 380 size motor. The Mini B is a 280 size motor. The only other car I know that has a 280 size motor is the RC18T. See if I can get this jump finally. Almost. <laughs> All right, so that's it. I can't really run it because of the shocks, but we'll get some new shocks for it. But that's a comparison between the Hellstorm, which is an 18. It's an 18 with a kind of like a buggy zero offset. Um, and the same thing with the Mini B. This is a 16 with the buggy kind of offset. So very similar in in design. Um, well, in dimension, not design. Similar in dimension. 18 versus a 16. This is a new, newer style 16. This is a an older 18. So those are the difference between the two.